And welcome back. Did you miss me? Not too bad, I hope. Uh, Red World is a series of books centered around the world where animals civilized, construct towns and cities, have their own languages, corresponding art. Cool. Yeah, I'm absolutely unfamiliar with it, I'm afraid. Right, so. Shiny. Um, you just don't belong there, Morlo. Okay, um, let me just real quick do this. Alright, let's swap out that. No, wait. Uh, swap that box with one of these empty ones. Change the name of this one, and we'll put the viewer nicknamed ones here from the tips. Tipperdex is what we normally call it. Other way. Okay, bump, bump, zoom, skadoomp. Right, so Thwacky and Drizzle need to evolve, that egg needs to hatch. What else do we need to do here? Let me think. Do you know where you catch Wainet? I don't know where you can catch Wainet. You might have to breed one out, which is what I did earlier today. You need to put a lax incense on a Wobbuffet to breed it. You might want to double check that. I'm pretty sure it's a lax incense, though. Lax, lax, incest, lax, incense, <laughs> lax, incest, the laziest form of incest. Uh, right, let's have a look. All right, so we're working on Swine Up right now. He's in one of the eggs, or an egg we're going to get next, I think. Okay, do do do. Where's my gap set? Oh, is that one? All right, Baldor to Gigalith. How you doing? Uh, Baldor. Wait, did I? Oh, I think you need to trade this one. I've got this one written down as a trade, but I don't think I've caught any yet. Is the issue? No, it says I have, but I couldn't find it before. Why not? Pretty sure I went looking for it. More. Yeah, here's the other trade of those. I didn't do Phantom either. Got to do that one. Alright, so I've got Phantom and Bold Order for the trade evos to do. Yeah, it's not... what? Oh, there it is. Did I just not see it before? Did I go into tree blind and not see it? I swear to God, I went looking for it before and couldn't find it. On the list at all. There it is. No, not that box. There. Hmm. Do you know how to get Sudo Widow pre Evo? Same thing, just breed it out. Um, and it needs to be holding the rock incense. Uh, I don't think you can catch it in the wild. In fact, I don't think you can get any of the uh, baby, you know, Gen 2 pre Evos in the wild. There are 151 curry combinations. Each of these three sizes. Nice. 151. That's not a mistake. They chose that number. Or at least stopped at that number. But this each has three sizes. Man, that's a... Completing the curry decks. I wonder if there's a reward for that. Huh? 
Okay, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I'm going to go to trade Evo for that. Uh, oh, right, I still need some Eevees as well. Oh, I caught a number in this morning, by the way. I meant to mention that at the start of the stream, but yeah. There was a number in wandering around there this morning at the little Eevee spot. Uh, failed to catch a Leafian. One did show up, but the fail, uh, the uh, catch failed. And I think a weather condition knocked it out and it never respawned for me that day. I think they only spawned like once a day, maybe. And that was annoying. But yeah, I've got Vaporeon Flare on Umbreon and Glacian and Sylveon already. Just a few more gaps to fill in. Uh, Applin. Yeah, we need to figure that. That's a hold an item and trade it thing, isn't it? And the different items are version exclusive. Swirlix, okay. Someone offered me one of those earlier. Uh, Spritzy to Aromatisse. That's a... Trade while holding Sashay, and Sashay is only available in Sword, I think, so that's another version exclusive we have to figure out. Uh, yeah, there's Wayne right there. Let's see if he does have a habitat, actually. Nope, didn't think so. Caught one today, says Tito. Caught one what? A Wayne? Spawn takes one to two days to reappear after you've encountered it. Yeah, the, the EVs the evolutions are spawning once a day, but which one spawns depends on the weather as well. I know exactly where they are, but yeah, if you screw it up, you have to wait for that weather to roll around again until you do it again. Uh, that's right, we still need our Surfetched family. That's version exclusive as well. Scraggy, I'm pretty sure that's version exclusive. Um, that's an Evo. We've already got the Gothi we need to just do that. Actually, we should put her in the team right now. And share the evolution up with our starters. That's what we need to do. Gothi, where did we put you? Should be around here somewhere. No? Okay, let's go looking for you. Go, 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 go. Gothita. Should be close by. I mean, I traded you earlier today. Oh, there you go. There you are. Into with the school bunnies. Okay, so let's go back to the wild area and pump some levels. Let's see. Where should we go? Let's go for. I'll jump in the middle again. Like Bridgeford. That's why, yeah, it's also, it's also why it took me so long to chase down a Snorlax. Yeah, it's those, uh, the, the big fixed spawns. Like the Steelix you ran into earlier. Alright, let's see, who are we going to fight? There we go. You're going to pump out some experience for me. I love the noise the big ones make too. Like oddly cute about it. Alright. Earthquake, you to death. Trying to catch a chirpy. Do you want to know the secret? Because the Pokedex location doesn't tell you everything you need to know. I found this out the hard way. I spent hours looking for one. I thought it was a rare spawn in the grass. It's not. It's not. There's a secret to it. And it makes sense once you know it. Get bon Oh, you get bonus toys for curries. Oh, we should go see the curry guy again while we're here as well. We haven't seen him yet. Let's see if we can get a new toy. Just while we're down in the wild area. Uh, which is back this way, isn't it? Just joined to finish all the post-game content. Yep. 
went through the post-game story. Took us about three hours. It's pretty decent for a post-game story arc. Which means my total story playtime is about 30 hours. Right. 3.54. Swanab. Uh, the only issue with beware is it's too friendly. You can accidentally kill this trainer with hugs. <laughs> if it smells something it does, it dashes off headlong to find the source of the aroma. I like Swanab. I don't know why, I just do. Ever since you first ran into them in those little ice caves, it's just, I don't know, it's something cute about it. I don't think they're very useful, are they? I've never seen anyone use one. Yeah, actually, come here. You'll be good for experience as well. Did you enjoy meeting Swordwood and Shield? I did. It's nice to have a couple of characters that are just fun to hate. Nobody else in this game is really fun to hate. You've got villains, but they're all kind of sympathetic. But these guys, not so much. Paul never answered me. I don't know whether he wants to know the secret for the charity or not. It was kind of satisfying and kind of annoying to figure it out on my own. I don't know whether to keep it from him or not. You do want to know the secret? Alright. So, you won't find it in the grass. But you will find it in trees. You know when you shake a cherry tree? Shake one of those berry trees until a Pokemon pops out? Yeah, that's where they spawn. Still a rare spawn, so you're going to have to f shake a few trees. The one I got, uh, when I got mine, it was those three trees that sit next to each other underneath the bridge. Just in the field where we were back there. So you just got to shake those trees until a Pokemon attacks you. And you might get a Cherubi. You right? Yeah. Face plant time. I had almost given up looking for one in the grass. Uh, and I went, you know what? I'll just grab, on, on my way past these trees, I'll just grab a few berries. Why not? And one fell out, and I went, oh, 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 come on. I wish it had happened on stream, because, ooh, hello. Don't see you spawning here very often. Must be the weather. I wasted a moonstone half an hour ago. We just snatched one up right here. You got Cherubi for your first overshake? <laughs> well, you didn't get the misery then. Okay, so now we learned that Coffeeble spawn where Snorlax spawns if it's foggy. Apparently. Pro tip for you guys, if you don't want to waste a Moonstone. Well, I say waste. Oh, that's the other thing. Over the Lake of Outrage, where the uh, evolution spawn and things like that. You know those big rock pillars that are all in a circle? Every day they respawn, or have a chance to respawn, a bunch of new evolution stones, by the way. Just if you didn't know that. They didn't have any for me this morning, but every other day I've checked it, there's been at least three or four. Look at those big stones. Consider putting your league card code on screen for Pokemon streams. My league card code? What? Remember my trainer card? Yeah, I did mean to put that in a move up command, but I forgot. Someone someone leave a note in the Discord to remind me to do that after stream. I said to have a command for my friend code. Might as well have one for that as well. What does it actually do? Does it make it more likely for you guys to connect to me, or is it just a collectible thing? No idea what the benefit is. Yay. 
But yeah, finding that cherubi, I mean, it must have been three or four hours of me just hunting in the grass. I thought, well, it's probably just one of those 1% spawn things. I'm just getting unlucky. I watched the TV at the same time. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't infuriating me. It was kind of frustrating. I wasn't finding one, but I thought, yeah, I'll keep it up for long enough. I'll eventually find one. Yeah, like I said, then I got frustrated and on my way to and from the field to recharge my moves or something, or whatever it was. Uh, I shook the trees just to get some cher uh, berries out of it for uh, curries and stuff, and one fell out and hit me in the face. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. But like I said, it makes sense once you know it. It's a cherry. It comes from a tree. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, what do you got for me today? Nice! I love when she gives me pearl strings, because they sell for heaps. I got three of her at once yesterday. It was ridiculous. They're like 10 grand a piece or something ridiculous. Reminder is put on just good. Thank you. Alright, where's that curry guy? Which one of you are curry guy, aren't you? Uh, rate my curry decks. First, tell me about the mysterious dish called curry. Yes, I know. Curry's delicious. Yes, yes, yes. Is this the first time I've talked to this guy, or is he just telling me this every time? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen this dialogue before. Nine kinds of curry. I bet you I need ten. Yeah, I probably need ten to get the toy. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Made at least one different kind of curry, have it a reward. Okay. Sausages. Oh, there we go. Five different kinds of curry, have it a reward. Fresh ball, there we go. There's our reward, our toy reward. Fresh ball's a new kind of Pokeball I've developed. Now it's just having a laugh. It's a toy you can use to play with your Pokemon while camping. It's a spitting image of a Watmill berry. And it's quite heavy too. I might have a little difficulty throwing it. That's it. Yeah, it's a little underwhelming, but whatever. We did it now. All right. There was that big horsey. There you are, buddy. Come on, let's do Pokemon with flame buddy needs to be in the first. Nah, can be anywhere in the party, doesn't matter. Just needs to be in the party. I normally have it at the top, just because it makes sorting out the eggs easier. But it doesn't make a difference to the function. Alright, do we have enough experience yet? Three big guys. Where are we at? No, nope. right, still at 29. We've got a little bit to go. Four more levels. Ish. Somewhere, shouldn't there? Right about here ish. There he is. Quagsire. How do you not love Quagsire? Goofy little idiot. I should have it to where Pokemon eggs face closer to the flame body Pokemon much quicker than the rest. <laughs> That'd just be a pain in the ass. I can see what you're going for there, but that's just be stupid. Looks like lead cards are mostly cosmetic, but the back of them shows progress on shinies, carries. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. So when I complete my decks, I'll be able to show it off in the back of my card. Nice. Hmm. 
Big lag spike there as we spawn in some bikers. Uh, should be a Pangoa or something like that around here. Where is he? Where is... Oh no, not Pangoa today. Looks like we get a little, uh, no bat. Come on down. Don't fight me. Oh, he runs away. Okay. Oh, hello. Lumbo today. Sorry, Luxudio, not the previous edition. You have to manually update the Batomi though. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. Which I haven't done in a while. I probably should do that. When I update it on my end, do I need to reshare it? Or does when someone else I've already shared with, when they look at my card, does it automatically sync up? Because I know when I've looked at user cards, they tend to take a second to, or two to load. I wonder if it's pulling the freshest information from the servers. I bet you that's what it's doing. I bet you that's what that Rotomini thing is about. It syncs it to the server. Which is pretty clever, actually. Auto syncs, yeah. Been using Pangoras with my False Swiper? Yeah, I did try a different False Swiper. I had a. Uh... Give me a sec here. Get past the noises. Oh, here we go. I did have a buy shop as a false swiper, but he just wasn't tough enough. So I wanted to take false swipe off my uh, off my big guy, so we could have something more powerful to use when he's actually being active. Oh, nice when stars shine, this Pokemon Psyche Power is its strongest. It's unknown just what link or it has to the greater universe. Oh, that's mysterious. Yeah, let's see, where is he? Yeah, I had my shop over here. Pushed him all up down the way to level 84. Trying to make him useful as a false swiper. Because uh, he had Thunder Wave. That was the whole point. Getting Thunder Wave and false swipe on the same thing to make catching easier. Because if you paralyze something, the catch rate goes up slightly. Couldn't find anyone useful enough that knew something like Spore, a guaranteed sleep hit that also knew false swipe in this game. I had to poke around through the Pokedex and I just couldn't find anyone like that. So I settled on this guy, but he just wasn't very effective. I think it was just, I don't know, I don't know, it just, it just wasn't that good to use for whatever reason. Yeah, he's only got decent, decent, decent stuff, but yeah. Dreadnor was just a much more effective false swiper, so I just let Dreadnor keep the false swipe. But I have been thinking about switching out for Pangora, because Pangora is even tankier than Dreadnor. Just has huge defense and HP pools. That way I can just get, uh, you know, put something more aggressive on Dreadnought for actually using him in uh, max raids and shit. Sorry. Thank you. There you are. I knew there was one around here. I uh, delayed me myself. Yeah, I've used a delayed as a false weapon before as well. But there was a problem with Breloom. I don't remember what it was. I'm not even version exclusive or the path to get Spore onto it was weird. Or there was something up with that. I forget what it was. I might have to double check that because I have used Breloom as a false swiper before and it worked really well. But for some reason I discounted it. I don't remember why. Or maybe it isn't in this game. Maybe that was the problem. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I looked at a few options. Couldn't find anything perfect, though. Doesn't mean when it says the battlefield got weird. You know what? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure what that one means. I have to ask a competitive type. They'll know all the uh, battlefield conditions.
But yeah, maybe, yeah, I think Breloom might not be in this game or something. Or well, there was something weird with the breed chain to get Spore. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, Breloom is not in the game, right, that must have been it then. So like I said, I've used Balloon before as a False Swiper and it works so well because it has Spore and False Swipe and it's tough. It's basically perfect for a catcher Pokemon. Um, oh, the weird battlefield means Psychic moves get priority. That makes sense. And Defense Shot then. One thing I did like about Bioshop though is his ability. Every time someone tried to put a status effect on him, it would just raise his speed in Defiance. I think, which is I think what it's called. It's called Defiance or Defiant. But that was pretty handy because you'd never get poisoned or sleeped or all that kind of stuff. It would just go, no, fuck you. I'm just getting faster instead, which is pretty cool. His final, his final evolution is growing on me. I hated it when I first saw it, but I have to admit, it is starting to grow on me, guys. I am starting to like it. 355. Are you yeah, Smeagol's not in the thing. I, I hear a lot of people using Smeagol, but the, the process for getting a moveset on Smeagol has always seemed like tedious to me. <laughs> Having to use Sketch. But yeah, Soak, Spore, Taunt, and False Swipe. That's classic, isn't it? I've never done it. It's smart though. It just feels like so so much work. So tedious. Uh, one of the best drumming techniques becomes the boss of the troop. With gentle disposition and values harmony amongst his crew. Oh, that's a nice little description. I like it. We should probably give him his iconic move, shouldn't we? Her, excuse me. Forever doing that. Bad pronoun guy, bad. Assume everything is mad all the time. How dare you? Come on, Driz. This design's growing on me too. A weird James Bond worm. Three fifty-six. It's nictitating membranes that pick out foes' weak points. That's cool. And precisely blast them with water that shoots from his fingertips at Mark three. I wonder if the word nictitating has ever been used in a Pokédex entry before. It's one of my favorite words. One of my favorite biology words. Nictitating membrane. It's a third eyelid, for those of you who don't know. Transparent, usually. A lot of aquatic animals have them, or semi-aquatic animals have them, to help them see better underwater. A lot of birds still have it as well. I love my James Wood Chameleon, Agent S. Yes, yeah, I've seen Agent S in, in action a few times on the Max Raids we teamed up on. He gets the job done, doesn't he? But yeah, Score Bunny is still my favourite. I don't think it's just because it was my first starter for this generation. Like, every design of its evolution line just looks awesome. Ooh, hello. Nothing doing. Just a wild glade. 
Uh, sorry, Gardevoir. Did I say Glade? Gardevoir. I don't know how many times in my life I've done that. Referred to a Pokemon as by the wrong evolution line. Um, yeah, we'll burn another Gardevoir. We need to go back and heal soon anyway. Oh wait, no, I don't, I don't need to do this anymore. We just evolve them. I'm in a loop. The my toxicity. Toxtricity. That's a tough one to say, isn't it? Toxtricity. Wait to most of the loaded gyms. Yeah, I see a lot of people coming through the max raids with toxtricities. Seems like a very popular choice. And he does have very good base stats as well. He's not as fast as my Boltoned, but I think his other base stats are higher. But I do like a fast electric guy, because then you can zap in that paralyzed nice and quick. Uh, I think Skillbunny has the best animation for its signature move. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that little hacky sack soccer ball kind of thing. Yeah, that looks so good. First time I saw it, I just lit up. Bolton is great. I wish Bolton had a better move pool. I took him to the move learner yesterday or last night thinking, oh, I, wonder if he, I wonder if I skipped over anything that's more useful and had a look at all my TRs and stuff, and he just, he doesn't learn that much that's very interesting. Um, but yeah, he's, he's still very effective. He's been my go-to guy since like, well, what was it, hour two of the game when we got to that field, I guess, when we got him? His original little form? I haven't sa manually saved in a while. It always makes me feel weird when I haven't manually saved. Oh look, we're, we're over triple digit hours by the way, 101 hours. <laughs> One week for more than 100 hours in this game. Jeez. I haven't done that since probably Silver. Get the triple digit hours played in a week on a new Pokemon game. Yeah, I reckon maybe Soul Silver. I probably did that again as well. Just got a five star Beretic. Nice. That'll be useful, little guy. Okay, let's clear out the party. I'll come back at a later date and pump these guys up and give them a decent move set to use or something. Uh, where's a little gap for you to go in? There's one. Alright, oh no, we still have to evolve Gothy again, don't we? Let me double check. Theta. Bulbapedia. Where does your final evolution kick in? And is there a gimmick involved? Nope, just level 41 straight up. Coolsies. Wait a second. Shouldn't you be evolving already if you're a 61? I guess you just need one more push. Let's do it with the candy. Can't be bother going back out in the field. Actually, how close are you? Pretty damn close. We'll have to go back in the field. There's no, no point wasting candy on that. Can he learn any bites beside Crunch and Thunderbite? Um, I'm going to double check that because mine does have Strong Jaw, which powers up all the bitey type moves. I know there's a Poison Bite he can learn because I got the TR for that. And uh, he could learn it. Oh, server dropped. That's right, we don't need it right now. Alright, where's that? Oh, there you are. I knew there was another one around here. Come here, buddy. Yes, I know. Come get some. You can learn Fiver. Nice. What else doing? Maybe just fill them up with bite moves. Oh, it's Fire, fire Fang, isn't it? Whatever it is. Yeah, Poison Fang, I think, is the fang, the poison one I was talking about. But I think it's... They're, they're called Fang stuff, aren't they? We know what you mean. But yeah, those type of moves are powered up by my uh, Bolton's ability, which is pretty sweet. Uh, might do the same thing at the exact same time. Yeah. The servers have been a bit 
iffy today. That's the third or fourth time I've just gone across the board. I hope it's because they're just fiddling with them, not because they're literally that unstable. Ooh, 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 what was that? Ah. All right then, come on. Somehow dodged a hurricane. That's fine. That happens. Ding! Fries are done. Come on, Gothy Doom. There you go. Never liked your metal form. It looks so goofy. It looks like someone's first day with a 3D modeling kit. Just made out of balls. Yeah, that's much better. Still basic shapes, but it looks much better. Alright. Dun dun dun. Another one must have asked. 357 of 400. Oh, we're crawling ever closer, guys. A criminal who has shown his fate by Gothy Dell was missing the same day and was never seen again. Holy shit, these things are scary. Horrifying. Did the weather just literally change as I did that? It went all dark. So spooky. Right. There's a gap for you there. Um, oh, I guess we can do one of the other fossils as well. I probably need to bring up the web page so I don't get this wrong. All right, let's do the fossils next. I think I've got enough bits for the other three. Or at least another two. Actually, before we do that, we might as well drop by the digger guys and see if we can get extra fossils just in case we need them. It's kind of on the way anyway. All right, digger guys, where are you? They're over here somewhere with a very short draw distance. There you are. These guys... I've seen people get like 10, 12, 13 items from these guys at a time. I'm lucky to get three from any one of them. Even the guy who says he's got more stamina. I get so unlucky with these digs. RNG's been kicking my ass on this one. Got the cherry? Nice. How many two how many trees did you take? Did you did you keep count? Moonstone, there we go. Replace the moonstone I used. That okay? Good. Here we go. This is more like it. Fossilized fish. I think I need the other one more. I got three or f I got four or five of the fish now. I think. I need more of the the other one's the dragon one, right, or something. That was the best I've ever done off that first guy. He usually gives up after two or three, if that. Okay. Firestone, nice. Everstone, nice. I think that's the first Everstone I got. Sunstone, good. Used up one of those yesterday. Alright, let me check. I think that's the first Everstone I've gotten. Um, right, sort by type. Why is Everstone not listed with the other stones? Sort by name. No, I've got two Everstones. Okay. Must have got one somewhere else recently. <laughs> Mythical Magi. Hello there. All right, what did I say I was going to do? This is honey there, lots of things. Yep, oh, Revival Herb. That's the first time I've got anything but honey from those plants. Uh, I was going to do a thing and I've forgotten what it was. Oh, the fossils. Hold on, brain. Where are you? She's... 
Up here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. Fossil restoration. I haven't done this at all yet. The one fossil Pokemon I've got was from a trade earlier today. And here you are. Yep. Cool as Right, let's make sure I get this right. Shield fossil Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield fossils, all combinations. Game's radar, that'll do. Reasonably reliable sight. Okay, so let me double check which one I actually have. So I have Arc to Zolt. Arc to Zolt. So that was Fossilized Bird plus Dino. So let's do Fossilized Bird plus Fish for the next one. Uh, I've got an Eastern. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you had fun. Enjoy your bedtime. And hello, the Zikini door. I've uh, got most five. Go claims to have more max three so far. Yeah. Right, what did I say? Bird and fish. I think I've got those. I guess I only have Fish and Drake. Which will get me Dracovish. It's unit science. This Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Let's take care of this Pokemon. Dracovish. Good grief. Just horrifying. Every moment I live is agony. Please kill me. <laughs> uh, the mighty legs are capable of running at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour. But Sorkman can't breathe unless it's underwater. <laughs> God. <laughs> what a horrifying existence that would be. Uh, poor thing. Right, is that the trigger I can do right now? I think that's all I got. I haven't been lucky on the fossils, apparently. Uh, sort by type. Where would they be? That's a sweet apple I need. Now the fossils are in the key item slot, aren't they? No. Treasures. There we go. Yeah, so I got like five fish and two drake and none of the other ones yet. God damn it. So I need bird. Drake and... Oh, Drake and Dino are separate. Okay. I need bird and dino ones. Is there anywhere I can buy them in-game? Or do we have to get them from the dig bros? Ugh. Pain the ass. I guess it'll also trade for them as well. Alright. Uh, Pokedex. Uh, oh, they might be version exclusive. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to trade for them. Uh, also, my count fell behind again. So I forgot to do the Gothi Tell and the new fossil we got. 
Right, that's version exclusive. Litwick. It's middle evolution of Litwick I need. I know I have one. I remember catching it. But I might have traded it away now that I think about it. Oh, no, there he is. I must have had two, because I did trade one of these away. You can go in there, you horrifying nightmare. Alright, uh, he's at level 60 already. I must have got him from a raid. So that means the candy should pop him straight away, I reckon. Let's try that. I'm not even going to double check what he evolves at. Just going to give him a good old... Uh, nope. Sort my name. There it is. Let's see if that kicks you. Make it an even 360. Did you get that Pokemon on the back? A wicked one? I made that out of boxes. That's a cardboard box. Tell you what, type exclamation point ultra ball in chat. See what happens to it. And it's 70k once just to get two of each fossil. Jesus. <gasps> now try Great Ball. Try Pokeball. Turn it back to red. Um, all right, Lampert done. Haven't done Premier Ball. I really should do that one, shouldn't I? Although I don't think I can make that light go white, now that I think about it. The program I used to do this has very limited color options. Maybe that's why I didn't do the Premier. I just did Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. Oh, did I do Master Ball? Someone type exclamation point Master Ball. I don't remember whether I did Master Ball. Don't think I did. Or maybe I did, it's gone purple. Ultra ball. Ultra ball might be easier to see if I do that, so yeah, you can see the colour a bit better if I do that. What was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. I was gonna do a thing and I forgot what the thing was. Alright, I was gonna put Lampet back. Find a little hole for you to go in there. You are. Slot you in right there. You know what? Let's go ahead and breed up some Eevees. Because I can probably fill in a lot of the evolutions without having to wait for them to spawn in that special area now. I've got everything I need. Pretty sure as far as stones go. Uh... Plus, it's always nice to have a few extra Eevees around. Moonball! <laughs> uh, wait, what am I doing? Don't need to go in there. Stop. Take the mammoth swine back. I forgot I left it there actually. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't want to take the ditto back. Oh well. That just cost me $500 I didn't need to spend. Derpy derp. Derpy derp. 
Ka-ching. I mean, I do literally have a million poke yen, so. Thousand quid here and there isn't that big of a deal, still. Any use for the Beast Ball and Sword and Shield? I think it's in the code. But I think it's only in the code for when we were able to trade stuff across Pokemon Home. I don't know if you can get them from anywhere. Oh wait, I should have read the rest of that. I'm always doing that. Got one from NPC. Don't remember any of the beasts being in the game. No, they're not in the game. I wonder if it's just a reference. I can tell you right now, it's not going to work very well against a normal Pokemon. If at all. Interesting to see going from NPC. Do you remember which NPC you got from? Because I didn't come across that. And I speak to every NPC I see. I wonder if it's a post-game thing or something. Or maybe it's an NPC that's hidden somewhere that I missed. I've taken the Dudo back. Yeah, that's about the fourth time I've done that. I'll admit to you guys. It's about the fourth time I've just been hammering on that A button to get through the dialogue and accidentally took the Dudo back out. Not the first time. Probably won't be the last time either. I'm sure to see we can buy items in daily like the Reaper Oh, okay. Cool. Lapras with a beast ball. Oh. Yeah, from what I remember Sun and Moon, I think they had a lower catch rate than a standard Pokeball when used against a normal Pokemon. So I guess you just got real lucky or something. And we just changed in this game. Next to the guy that buys pearls and stuff for triple. Oh, I didn't know the guy buys pearls for triple price. I think I did know about that, but I forgot about it. I should actually sell my pearls there because I get a fair few pearls. Not that I need the money because, like, again, I've got over a million poking at this point, so. Just from selling items from Max Raids. Can't hurt Dave even more money though. Just got lucky. He was asleep at 1 HP. He was using pressure, which makes captures easiest. Oh, I didn't know that about pressure. Has that always been a thing or just in this game? Let's just touch him. And hopefully. They don't go a bit weird on us. Do the thing for a while. Intimidate. Should also do it. Huh. I'll be damned. Amazing, I've been playing this game for 22 years. You just, you just never know everything. Or maybe I did and I forgot it. I don't know. Right. Swine up, you can get back in your box. And I forgot how long Eevees take to hatch. I did like that we got a nice view for the uh, hatch route in this game. Probably the prettiest we've had. I wish the level of detail in the background there was better though. It's pretty plain back there. Not many textures. Buddy. 
Do you like an Eevee? Where's my Eevee going? There he is. Yeah. There we go. You sit right there. Watch your little brothers, sisters, and cousins being born. Before Rose blew the cup off the tower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hadn't noticed that, but you're right. I said they kept that detail in. I can excuse the low res model because it's so far away, it makes sense. Well, I mean, yeah, but. <sighs> there should be a few more textures. I think it's the shadows, most of all. The sh it needs some shadows underneath the big rocks and shit like that. And the trees would make sell it a bit better. Or maybe just haze it up with a bit of fog. A bit of fog of war to make it look a bit more gentle. I don't know. Google of Next Rate? Ooh, I haven't had one of those. That must be pretty rare. Wouldn't you shit your pants if it was shiny? Saves your trade. Yeah, saves your trade. It's one of the things I need, actually. I might steal yours. The wild area looks bland to me. Just the game looks nice. Yeah, I mean, the wild area is kind of bland by design because... Uh, I, I suspect the game engine they designed wasn't intended for an open world section. So they had to cut some corners on the way it looks just so it could run. I don't know. They have less control over what's on the screen at any point. So they can't sort of refine it like they do in towns. Where they have absolute perfect control over the camera angle so they know exactly what's being rendered at any one point. Wild area's not like that. So I get it. Not break time yet, but now for more break time. Might be able to sync with Moobot if the Moobot's from under me. Like how they kept Eevee's new crime? Yeah, from Let's Go. Yeah, did the same thing with Pikachu as well. Moobot. Yeah, I think I'm out of sync with Moobot. Happens from time to time when I take sort of two and a half hours between break a couple of times instead of one hour, or instead of two hours, which is what's happened today. It's been an hour since my last break, but we are coming up under eight hours into the stream, so just got out of sync is all. Evolutions to now. I think I need electric grass. I need fire. Oh, we better check the Pokedex before I start avoiding these things. I think we've got enough to fill up what I need now, though. What's Eevee's number again? I'm gonna have to find him by number, otherwise his evolutions might be next to him. Let's look for the gaps, there'll be a big gap. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Where is he? Lost him. Eevee, where are you? Here we go. Found him. Alright, so. 
I need Leafeon. We have Flareon. Uh, that's going to be Friendship at Night. Oh, wait, no, we have Sylvian right there. So we just got three of them. Leafian, who's that, and who's that? Come on, chat, who's that Pokemon? Who could name the missing Eevees off the top of their head? It's game time. Well done. And a Vaporeon. So, water, fire, grass. Right off the bat is what we need. Um, sort by type. Leaf stone. Already got Vaporeon? Do I? Oh no, I do, because he's the he's the one in the breeding. That's what we're breeding from. Yeah. Sorry. So pretty. Look at that face. Look at that pretty little face. Three sixty one. Hey, Mitchie. Leafian is one of the prettiest evolutions, I think. Alright. Thoop doop. Thunderstone. Whoops, it easy. Thunderstone. Such a shame. Yeah, so we've we'll been waiting for a new evolution for how long now? Oh well. Probably my least favorite evolution. Don't like the look. His moveset's kind of naff. I do have a shiny. I've got a shiny Lucario. Last evolution with Gen 6. That sounds about right. Yeah, I think Dragon would be at the top of my list for evolutions as well. Look really cool. Or just an evolved normal type for that matter. I mean, we have the EV. What was it called? The, the, the stone that turned. Makes more powerful versions of the unevolved Pokemon. What the fuck am I trying to say? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, fire, right? I think I needed that one. I should have double checked. I have to double uh, double check myself. Um, Eevee Light, thank you. Eevee Light, yeah. To power up a regular Eevee. Oh, it's still like a grown up normal type Eevee. Steel type Eevee would be fun too. A little shiny and stuff. Or maybe we could start getting some dual type Eevees. How about that? Mm. Get all complicated. Oh, I guess I didn't need Flareon. Oh. Should have double checked. No, <laughs> you call it Normian. It's <laughs> just Normie. Uh. Alright, so we have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, eh, Umbrian, Leafian, Glacian, Sylvian. Who's missing? What am I forgetting? Espion! Espion is friendship during the day, right? Shouldn't be a problem, we can do that right now. We just need to hatch another one. And I have an egg in the bag, don't I? Yep, alright, let's hatch this guy up. Give it a soothe belt, play with it if can, give it some carries. And we're on our way. 
Uh, yeah, Poison Type Eevee is another one I hear a lot of. Spooky little purple Eevee would be fun. No Ghost Types though. I don't want to even think about an Eevee being dead. Greevy. <laughs> the ghost type. Ghost type evolution should be called Greevy. <laughs> That's very funny. Also clever. Griefy. Yeah, Griefy. There you go. Put the F back in there. Oh, suddenly I do want to ghost type Eevee, just so we could have it called Griefy. There's a creepy paste called Zombian, which talks about Ghost Up Eevee. Oh, I'm sure it does. Eevees take too long to hatch. Here we go. be doted on. Set up camp right here. All right. Oh my god, look how cute! Oh yeah? It has an evolution for each type, and you can use an item to change it back and forth. Oh, wow. I like how focused they get when you're playing with the toys. They get this real focused look on their face. Huh? It's all about the toy right now. All other considerations are moot. Yeah, we'll do that next once we uh, cap this off. So I feel like they would sooner add a new Pokemon type to give us those. Uh, probably. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Ethan. Come on, get a little heart. Something. Now, look at Flareon back there. Look how cute. Look at that face. Okay, there it is. Okay, change toys. Uh, ooh! Big. Very big. Can you even carry it? Sure can. Go, Evie. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know whether this actually raises happiness or not. I don't get any indications. It's still fun. Alright. Let's give you a couple of carries. Oh, I'm going to use the leak again because that seemed to work really well last time. Orans, couple of those, couple of those, couple of these, one of those. If you charge up your shot, oh, I didn't know you could charge it. I'll try that.
I think you have to really wander back get happiness from the ball. Ah, <laughs> okay, we'll try that next. Get Eevee in the background. I wonder if it's a trick to stirring. Does slow stirring or fast stirring work better? Does it matter? Does direction matter? Does consistency matter? New high school with high stamina brother and nine treasures? Nine! Nice! I can only dream of nine treasures. Okay, so I'm going to draw the carry regardless of the other stuff. Yeah, this will pass. Alright, so the leak didn't help me. Must have been the berries that gave us the high class stuff last time. Disappear. All right, Leafy. Come on, then. Oh yeah, we got little hearts, a uh, little music that time. He doesn't care about the ball. All right. Uh, hello, <laughs> All right. No, not Treadnor. Eevee. No, not Clarion. Eevee. Eevee. Wind it up. Credits record for Rare Brother for me. 17 treasures in a go. Show off. I think the best I've ever done is like seven. Oh, he carries it back in his head. is playful. So curious. Leafin, get out of the way. Little brother needs to have room. I forgot to put the soothe bill on it, didn't I? Seen Dreadnought jog before. Look at him go! Her, actually. Look at her go. Evie, what are you doing? Evie? I'll find better. Thank you. Do 
Stop getting little music notes. I wonder if that's maxed out. Great ball. Stop camping, let's see if that's enough. Is that bull time? Is that feather thing time? Ever. It's enough. Whoop. Maybe no. Come come watch. You go watch your evolution. Pretty. Man, tell you what, happiness takes just zero time to max up in this game. It almost feels like it's not enough work. In other games, you have to pretty you have to work pretty hard to get the happiness up enough to trigger an evolution. This is just three minutes. Playing at campsite, that's it. Wait, you want sand attack? I think so. Confusion, that's not like it. That's not your iconic move. Sand attack. Psychic sand, though. He was too excited. Yeah, Evie, Evie just got way too excited about this and fell off my shoulder. Really had to increase the happiness in X and Y. Mm-hmm. All right, that's another one of the Vegadix. Three C. Oh wait, another one. I keep getting out of sync with that. God, I'm bad at pressing the button. Three sixty-three. And that's all the evolutions, right? Yeah, sure is. All right, that's a trade with an item. That's version exclusive. That's. Right, how is it? Do I make a note of this? Spritzy, 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 spritzy. Spritzy, 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 spritzy. Trade while holding sachet. That's a version exclusive item we have to trade with. Uh, that's version exclusive. That's version exclusive. That's version exclusive. At right, what do Queen do about this? I've got a note about this. Where are we? Uh, right, we have to hold the Razor Claw at night, so I can't do that right now because the game still thinks it's day, even though it's five p.m. Oh, Jesus, five p.m. I should stop and have something to eat. Uh, more while, I believe, is version exclusive. What about Sableye? Do we have a habitat on Sableye? We do. Must be a weather thing. It's got to be misty. Go have fog in one of these areas. That's not what we got today. We got sandstorms over there today. Yeah, sunny and sandstorm, but misty down below there. But that's no good to us. Okay, keep an eye for that. Um, we need to get Lucario and then breed it back down for his little head form. Don't know where to get you from. Might be version exclusive, might be one of those special things that we just have to stumble across. Maybe Trivenant, that's a trade Evo. I've got the fan top ready to go. But we've got to do that anyway. That's version exclusive. That must be an Evo for Phalanx. Okay. Is Turdinator a third Evo for that, or is that a separate one? I actually don't know. Uh, wrong bag. Search. Pigment species. 
the links. Where are you? Hey, right at the top there. Idiot. Should have one of these. Oh, there he is. Alright, while we're at it, let's move all the Eevees over. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Applin, oh, Applin is just used the item on it, it's not trade? Alright. But I think, yeah, there's the one item is per version, isn't it? Is that the, is that the gag? Alright. I've got an Applin, so let's go get that. Yeah, I was, I was gonna actually going to double check that, but I should have known just to ask you guys. Pap, 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 pap. Where are you? There you are. Should have one or two of these sitting ready. There he is. Yeah, the stupid doop. Alright, so Phoenix needs to evolve. Frostmouth needs to evolve, but that's at night. No, friendship at night for Snom. Alright, so tonight I'll have to do that. And I'll sneasel guy. Never luck. Does never luck have a third evolution? Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. There's, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, God, is it cold? What is it called? What's it called? What's it called? No, wait, it doesn't have. What am I thinking of? What's in between Avalug and Lapras then? Phalanx doesn't evolve? The Pokemon between it and Turtonetia is Drampa. Ah. I still means right there, okay. Um yeah, our sun equivalent of Lunatone goes right there. Version exclusive. That's version exclusive. Stone Jenner, I don't know if that's version exclusive. I think it is. Definitely don't have a habitat for it, though. Do you don't, wait, there's the other two fossil guys. Version exclusives. Type null. We have to friendship up. It goes right there. Uh... What's his name? Comes before Pupitar. Either way, we can breed him out from our Tyranitar that I've got somewhere. Lavatar, thank you. I caught a wild Tyranitar, believe it, believe it or not. You don't evolve, so you can go back. Alright, so we have to breed you. We have to give you an item. What else we got here? Uh, no idea what any of those are. Just things we got nailed. I've got to evolve Jang into his line. We have one of him now, so that's not a tough ask. That's just a straight up level, isn't it? All three of those are straight up level evolutions. So yes, yeah, just the version exclusives and a couple of tradey those we've got to do. Oh, 
didn't seem like enough. Although I guess some of those 3D verses have three stages and shit, don't they? I don't make up for that C363. After trenches, the Dino line, which is sort of exclusive. Thank you. Does anyone know how to get Shit Ninja? I looked it up, but I'm confused what I'm supposed to do. Alright, so you need, when you evolve um, Ninjask, you need to have an empty slot in your party. So don't have all six Pokemon. And you also need to have at least one Pokeball, which you should have anyway in this game, because you'll never run out of Pokeballs. Uh, the way this game hands out money and balls. Giggity. But yeah, when he evolves, you need a Pokeball and an empty space for Shed Ninja to go into. Because Ninjask evolves into a different form itself, but its shell becomes the secondary Pokemon. And you need a space for that Pokemon to go into. Make sense? It's pretty easy if you know the trick. It's an old one. Was that second gen? I think it was. Let's not accidentally take Ditto back this time. I'll breed up a bunch more Ditto's at a later date, but right now we have work to do. No. Nailed it. We need to leave the Pokemon. And we need Tyranitar's lost form. Uh, it's actually really cool. Yeah, it's one of my favorite gimmick evolutions. Shed Ninja. It's kind of logical and nifty all at the same time. Plus Shed Ninja is kind of an interesting Pokemon in his own right. With his special ability of only being hit by super effective moves. So the third gen was that? Oh, okay. I feel like I've known Shed Ninja for longer than that. Alright, so sword version owners, what I need you to do tonight, before tomorrow's stream. Spend the next few hours catching all those version exclusives for me. We'll do a bunch of trade sessions tomorrow. Uh, only having one HP, right? Uh, you, I don't think it has one HP anymore. I think I've given it more HP, but yeah, I think the original version only had one HP, but only super effective stuff in it. That was the whole gimmick, but I think these days he actually has more HP for whatever reason. Or I might be getting confused again. I accept this challenge. Thank you. I oh, still only has one HP. Cool. Yeah, one of, one of the more interesting gimmick Pokémons, I think. It's kind of one of the first extreme gimmick Pokémons, actually. There's a few oddities before, but he's, his gimmick was quite unusual. Still is, actually. Just did it. Sort of, yeah, there you go. Easy peasy, right? You just got to know the trick. I think the first time I did it, it was by accident. I didn't know the trick when I first did it. I remember thinking, where the fuck did that thing come from? And then I looked up. You know, I, I Yahoo searched it, because I don't think Google was a thing back in those days. Well, it might have been the very earliest days of Google, but I think I was still using Yahoo search engine. <laughs> so I Yahoo, I might have, I might have asked Jeeves. <laughs> and looked him up. I went, oh, okay. Uh, I did find a Rotom, yeah. I found him in the, uh, in the wild area. I forget what, I think it was a thunderstorm or something. But he's in that, he's in that special Lake of Rage area, or River of Outrage, or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, I think it was thundering when I found him, which makes sense, I suppose. They're amazing in the field, like I've never liked Rotom, but when you find them in the wild, like they'll, they're not hidden in the grass or anything, they're just a wild spawn. But you know how some Pokemon will run up to you? Rotom zap up to you, they go, and then like zap. In an instant. It's really cool. It scared the shit out of me when it first happened because I was thinking, oh my god, 
was the rooftop over there? I just heard straight up to me. I was like, ah! <laughs> it was awesome. Remember us, Jeeves? Yeah. Got one in a raid. Ooh, nice. I haven't seen any Rotoms in raids. It freaked me out when I saw a Rotom, right? You're not expecting it, are you? I mean, there's a few Pokemon that'll run up to you. A couple will sprint and charge at you, but yeah, Rotom just like Barry allen up to me. It just went, oh, there you are, and zap. All of a sudden, he was in my face. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, Hatterene teleports around. You've got to sneak up to it, otherwise it teleports away. That was cute. A couple times it dropped on, onto my head as well. I was running running around, it teleported away, and it, when it teleported back, it dropped onto my head and just triggered the things, uh, fight straight away. It was really weird. There he is. Oh man, he looks cute. He's all smooth rendered and stuff, isn't he? I don't think, I don't think Lavatar's ever looked that cute. 364. What a cutie patootie. It feeds on soil after it's eaten a large mountain. <laughs> so how that says that like it's nothing. After it's eaten a large mountain, it will fall asleep so it can grow. <laughs> after a snack of one mountain. After a midnight stack of a hillside or two. Alright, where's some gaps? There's a gap. Zerp. And Eevee. I'll probably regret burying you in here, but that's fine. Okay, so I've got to evolve Jang and give Applin his sweet apple chunk or sour apple chunk or whatever the bloody hell it is. What is it? So either tart or sweet apple. I think I get the sweet apple in, in shield. I nearly said moon. Pretend you didn't hear me say that. Uh, it's probably in this pocket. Right? There it is, sweet apple. Bedoink. 365. <laughs> Wow. I hadn't seen that guy close up. I've seen it from a distance in Max Raids. I never got a close up camera angle on it. That looks awesome. It's like an apple pie camel dragon. Oh, I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Look at it. Look at you stupid little bastard. You little half apple on your face. Oh, brilliant. Its body is covered with sweet nectar, and the skin on its back is especially yummy. Children used to have it as a snack. Just peel off a bit of your Pokemon, have it as a snack, no worries. <laughs> Alright, second favourite dragon, well, third favourite dragon type. There's this, there's the Gooey family, then there's that new ghost dragon thing, which whose name I never pick, remember yet, and then there's this guy. Dragons are getting a lot of love in Generation 8. Grass dragon though. Have we? Do we have any other grass dragons? Grass dragon, grass dragon, grass dragon. We have one other. Oh no, Flygon. Flygon's grass dragon, isn't it? No. Or am I getting confused because it's green? People eat Pokemon? Well, at least their skin. Flocking is ground dragon, right. Yeah. Grass dragon. I'm going to Google that real quick. I feel like that's the only one. Grass dragon Pokemon. Uh, is there a grass dragon Pokemon? Nothing's coming up. I mean, there's a few ones that should have... Dra oh, wait, no, no, no. The um, Alolan... 
Execute, right? That was Grass Dragon. Let me see if I can... No, there's no pictures of it. Yeah, no, there we go. Yeah. The Alolan Executor. It's Grass Dragon. And also Mega Tyranitar, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Uh, apple tumble. Oh, you get a shiny one. What's this? What's the shiny color? Is it a green apple instead of a red apple? That's what. It, that's why I would do it. From a raid as well. Oh my! So it's a shiny and it's powerful, and it's awesome. King, I'm so jelly. Big fat jelly. Uh, the only grass dragon is a mega form. No, that's not true because we the uh, Alolan executor is grass dragon. I just found out. So is septile dragon? I thought it was. I mean, I, I, hmm. I don't remember Sceptile being Dragon-type. Or is it just its mega form that's Dragon-type? It's a green apple? No, I thought it might be. That's the most obvious one, way to make that shiny. Mega, mega Sceptile is Dragon, right. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't think the regular one was. Okay, so it's not the first, but it's a very small group by the feel of things. Right, so yeah, all oh, the cracked pot. Yeah, I don't actually need to do the evolution for that because I caught both stages in the wild of the uh, ghost teapot Pokemon thing, so that's cool. Uh, so, Jengmo. Let's just go do a few battles in the wild to get Jengmo up. And after he evolves three times, it might be time to call it a stream because by then I'll hit nine plus hours, I think. And I'm getting real hungry because I have not eaten at all today, guys. At all. Uh, let's go down to the bottom end and go up this time. Didn't even have breakfast. Completely forgot to. Was too excited. I made a video that started streaming. Didn't eat. Two potters, two forms. Yeah, there's a. Uh, like a fine China version and a fake one. They look slightly different. I haven't I haven't looked at the slight differences, but yeah. And they there's only the fancy one can use one of the items. Because there are two different items to evolve it. Both will work on the fancy one, but only one will work on the cheap one. Or something along those along those lines. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm going to save those evolutionary atoms for the ghost teapot just in case I find a shiny one. So then I'll be able to evolve the shiny form. And I don't know if you can rebuy those. Oh, you should be able to rebuy those evolutionary forms somewhere. Or the uh, items somewhere, shouldn't you? I have to imagine you would. Or find them. Fancy one has some sort of stamp on its underneath. That would make sense. Being porcelain. Because the fancy porcelain does have the maker's mark underneath it. I would imagine that's true. I want it to be true. So let's go this way. Should be a big fella around here somewhere, right? There he is. Woo! <laughs> I can't get him! Stop! I don't actually... Thunderstorms and lightning, very, very frightening. I think that's officially the first thunderstorm of Sydney summer. We got lots of thunderstorms in Sydney in summertime. Some of my favourite things about Sydney. Wonderful, dramatic thunderstorms all the way through summer. Pretty reliable too. If you get three really hot days in a row, you almost always get a thunderstorm on the fourth day. It's awesome. Yeah, I love a good thunderstorm too, too, Dad. 
think the Mr. Marker double should have had a different form for female. You're not wrong here. Yeah, they should have had a U and a Ram form. Really don't know why they didn't. It's not as if it's unprecedented. There are lots of Pokemon with different male and female forms. Ooh, hello. You'll be good for a bit of experience. Oh, wait. I don't have my proper team with me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have made a mistake here. All right, there's still any... May have made him. Quite an important mistake here. Yeah, maybe not. I should be able to one-shot them all with, with Earthquake, right? Maybe not old drum face, but... First time I fought it with the final evolutions as well, by the way. I think you did two of each. I did two battles with the pre evos. I did two battles with the middle evos. That was a good one. You guys hear that? Oh shit. Ah. Yeah. I figured I might have a problem with this guy. Don't do a grass move. Don't do a grass move. Don't do a grass move. Oh. Oof. I'm in trouble. Let's see here. Actually, no, Lockjaw should do the work. Jaw lock. I always say it around the wrong way. There we go. No problem. What are uh, Jengmo's Evo levels? Can someone Google that real quick for me? Or ask Jeeves? <laughs> I think it's a pretty late stage third Evo, isn't it? Wasn't so bad. Thirty-five and forty-five. Yeah. Figured that would be around about the case. I might just do the rest of candies. Actually, I feel lazy. It's kind of the last. Well, I know, except for the trade ones. We have to still have to do the trade ones. But yeah, it's the last natural court. Evo series we have to do before we complete Pokedex. Feel the cool change of that thunderstorm. Just caught a cool breeze and a whiff of, uh, uh, of rain. An apple dragon, though. Love the apple dragon. Let's see. Candies. We've got plenty of L's. Yeah, we can burn a few. 
Let's start with 30, see how we go. Okay, there's our first Evo. Might have done too many. Way too many. Way too many. Probably could have gone with like five. Stare it out. I don't know what crashed, but it was an OBS. What if it was my lights? Someone type exclamation point. Great ball in the chat. See if my lights still work. Favorite quality of life improvements that doesn't pause for every level up. Yes. Alright. Oh, months is still working. Yeah, no idea what just crashed, but something just aired out on Windows. Everything still seems to be still running though. Something in the background. Do, 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 do. Before attacking its enemies, it's clashes the scales together and roars. Its sharp claws shred the opposition. Do the last one with just a piece of rare candy. Three sixty seven. Now it was me. I've got a window pop up. Certain ruins have paintings of ancient warriors wearing armor made of Kamal plate scales. I hope they didn't harvest them from live animals at least. Okay. Kamal is so freaking cool. Yeah, pretty cool design. Pretty cool looking thing. Not my favourite amongst its class, but not so bad. Looks like we have to go here. Okay, uh, that might be it for today. I don't think we've got anything else to do. We've just got a bunch of trades and evos to do tomorrow. Or well, trades and. Uh, the word I'm looking for is level up evolutions. Level evos is what I was scratching for. Like, man, I'll get the time. I've been up for nearly nine hours, to crying out loud. And I haven't eaten today, by the way. I remind you again. I'm running on empty. I've had three coffees. Maybe four coffees. That's it. Maybe five, actually. All right, 367. The count is right. Man, I reckon tomorrow, if I can get enough trades, we should be able to cop this off. And then on Sunday, we might start our first shiny hunt. If I don't do go back to Minecraft Sunday. But I got a feeling, a funny feeling of if we if we cap off the Pokedex, get a shiny charm, Sunday might be shiny hunt time. I don't think too many of you will complain about that. Another week without Minecraft. While the hype goes. Thank you, Annex. Keep doing what you're doing, you wonderful person. I will try. And I don't know if you knew this or not, whether you were here before, but whenever someone tips five bucks or more, the tradition around here when we're playing Pokemon is to go catch Pokemon and you get to nickname it. So that's what I'm doing. Let's go get your Pokemon, Annex. Inetics, Inex, Inetics. 
Oh, you know what? Let's go catch you that. Yeah, there we go. Let's go get you this guy. Something a little bit special. And then, as tradition dictates, I think we should also do a surprise trade. So we always used to wind up Pokemon streams with a bunch of wonder trading. Can't quite do it the same way anymore, because of the way it works, but still. We should do at least one, just to end the stream. Let's see if we can quick ball this guy, actually. Nope, one up for that? Yeah. I mean, we love, we love Minecraft, but... If we finish up the Pokedex tomorrow, I think we just have to go straight into a shiny catch, a uh, shiny hunt, don't we? Why would you want to wait another week for that? Shh. Yeah, I think it's Moon Entry. It says scales get knocked off as it battles. Oh, yeah, I do seem to remember that. All right, that was easy. What are we going to call this guy? Net. Let's make a note so I can do the little poster we normally do. Yeah, it's double A. Net X. Double I net X. And it's a wheezing Galarian. Uh, Pokemon's good stream. Yeah, I off always. Like <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. You want something too. Did I say the P word? Uh Thank you, by the way, for the uh, cheers there, Jesper and T Dog. Going to come, Mr. Top Hat. I like it. So fancy. Who's Mr. Top Hat? I genuinely love this. I love that. It's beautiful. Sounds like the name of a song. Mr. Top Hat. You know, Mr. Top Hat? All right, let's pick a patch of grass. And find out what's hiding. There's something. Oh, how'd I get back over it? Get out of the way, donkeys. Oh, our hidden Pokemon was another Mudbray. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I might have just clipped the overall Mudbray, but normally the, the hidden stuff has a very large hitbox. And I very rarely hit the overall Pokemon when hunting them, or uh, when hunting the uh, hidden ones. I want the donkey? Well, Jasper, you got a donkey, so there you go. Your wish is granted. All right. What are you going to call it? Well, I'll make a note here. Jasper, but... 94. Mudbray... Uh, that says, are you killing? What about sass ass? Because a donkey ass. Uh, that sounds dumb. That sass sounds pretty cool. That sass. Done. Thank you so much. No, there's the two mudbray sitting there. So the hidden one was another mudbray. Weird. All right. Oops, wrong button. Let's get the surprise trade going to uh, have a nice little send off. And we're, of course, going to send out one of our school bunnies. Oh, I might want to connect to the internet first. No point trying to s fucking send it local. Not going to happen. Would freak me out if I got one from a neighbor, though. Oh, okay. So we're not going to end with a surprise trade because the server is going to go in maintenance. So yeah, I guess that last time I went down, because I went down two or three times this morning, and I guess this is them fixing it. Or it's just a default message they put up to make you believe they're doing something when literally the server's on fire. <laughs> All right then. 
whatever the case is, I will see you guys back tomorrow for more Pokemon where we hopefully polish up this Pokedex. And again, if you own Pokemon Sword version, I would appreciate if you put a few of those version exclusives aside for me and we'll do some trading tomorrow. I will uh, try and do the same tonight, even though I'm pretty freaking tired, but I will try. In the meantime, thank you ever so much for your company, your support, your chat, your joy, all the kind of stuff and things. I always have such a blast doing these Pokemon streams, and I'm so glad it's back. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace out, and I hope the rest of your day, evening, morning, is fantastic. Aruni. That's right, I said fantastic Aruni. I'm that tired. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Bye!